Hey, yo. What's up, man? Hey, I ain't been back in, like, what? It's been a year? And all the vapes that I done hit, man. So many wasted views, yo. All right, so we back with the Esco Bar, yo. Esco Bar, 6,000 puffs, peach watermelon. It got 5%, 50 milligrams slash milliliters, 15 milliliters, 0.51 ounces. I don't know what they're measuring, but we finna see what it take like and what it do. All right, so looking at the package, you know, it ain't nothing crazy, you know. Standard cardboy box. <clears throat> show that, I'm gonna show that to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Standard cardboard box. Nothing really collectible, you know. They got, you know, everything, all the descriptions, all the branding on um on the sides and everything, every angle. It says it has more puffs, more flavor, and better battery life. So we're gonna see what it do. Um Yeah, as far as packaging, you know. It's pretty straightforward. They even got a little QR code with a code you can scan. I don't know what it does. I did try to uh, scan it and enter the code, and it says server error. So, you know, all right. Cardboard box, you know. Not really nothing collectible. Make sure you recycle. Um, 6,000 puffs. Can't really smell nothing through the bag. Now, I ain't had Esco bars in a while, so this is a new design for me. Or it might be a a um, collab. Frusha? I, I've never heard of Frusha, so I'm going to do my research. It smelled good, though. It smelled, it smelled really good. Um, the design is actually pretty sleek and pretty cool. It's like a glass overlay or plastic overlay over the actual vape. I love when things do that. I like when, um, like PlayStation, PlayStation or video game controllers do that, or like even cups, like the double like plastic lay. It's like really, it makes it look glossy. You know what I'm saying? That's really hard with the branding. It's hard. So we had a little um blocker thingy. If I were y'all, I would keep these because you know when you put them back in your pocket, you got lint in your pocket and everything. And like my previous vape. You know, it'll start out clear and then start to brown up and have, like get a lot of stuff from your pockets. So if I were y'all, I would keep these. Not gonna say that I'm actually gonna use it, but I'm just saying. Um, down here, take off the tab. All right, so we got USB-C charger port, and this seems to be a one of those um, airflow controllers. Yo, if you're a cloud boomer. Like me, if you like clouds. Okay, so this is almost out, but no, why would I use the old one? Alright. Um I don't know. Let's let's actually try this. Okay, well, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start trying it with the valve closed. I'm gonna close it, okay? Just so you guys see. It's open right now and I closed it. Alright, let's try it out. Now, personally, I like airflow, but like if you're trying to conserve and get bigger, like I guess the most out of your vape, whew, that's a nice rush though. Now, let's see what it does with the airflow. I'm all about the nicotine rush, y'all. I'm all about the kick. Yeah. Now, with the valve closed, it's a nice little buzz to the head. That is like refreshing. A little harsh on the kick, but yeah, my voice is a little gone right now, so it's a little harsh on my throat. But regularly, it's a do, yo. This is a nice little. And it's a crisp flavor. It's not like too sweet. Now I, I I my my hypothesis is later down the road when it starts to burn out it'll it'll lose a little bit of its flavor it'll start to taste like a, like a little burnt a little what's the word tart but right now yo this buzz is great yo yo y'all know me 
Got the Coca Cola. And sorry I took so long to like post again, y'all. I haven't been posting beats. I haven't been uh, doing a lot. I've been dealing with personal stuff. Uh, I'll dive into it the more the channel grows, but I'm back. Yeah, this is nice. If I had to rate the vape, bro, I'd give it a four out of five stars. Fruscia Escobar Peach Watermelon, five stars. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.